If one were trying to identify an unknown bacterium, one could begin by performing the Gram stain. Gram positive bacteria would stain purple, while Gram negative bacteria would stain pink. One could examine the shape of the cells and distinguish between the bacillus shape, which is rod shaped, versus the round coccus shape. If a second test to see whether spores are formed turns out to be negative with no spores, then one could use this chart to distinguish between a number of bacteria. If the bacteria is catalase negative, because when hydrogen peroxide is added, then no bubbling occurs because there is no enzyme catalase, then a subsequent test could be performed to see if the bacterium can lyse red blood cells and being hemolysis positive. If the bacterium was catalase positive because bubbles did form when hydrogen peroxide was added, one could then add sucrose or lactose to observe whether the microbes could ferment these sugars producing acid as a result which would then change the color of the solution. If the organism was lactose or sucrose fermentation positive, one could observe whether the microbe could metabolize uh, urea with the enzyme urease, or whether it could liquefy gelatin because of the enzyme gelatinase, and thus distinguish between microbes which are positive for these tests or negative.